mission that has top scientists and space geeks. The results are in from the mission. This sample may help reveal the origins of the cosmos. On the 26th of September, 2023, a team of scientists at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston unveiled the lid on the sample return canister brought back to Earth just two days earlier by the OSIRIS-REx mission. As the lid was raised, the astonishment in the room was palpable. What exactly did they find? Stay with us to the end to unravel the mysteries concealed within this extraordinary asteroid sample. The Unforeseen Revelation as the scientists unsealed the asteroid, they were met with an unexpected sight. A layer of black dust and debris had settled on the avionics deck of the canister. To make matters more intriguing, the sample weighed 100 grams more than the amount initially collected from Bennu. This baffled the researchers because the sample had been securely stored in a sealed container throughout its journey. The question that arises is, how did this happen in the first place? What's the source of the mysterious black dust on the canister's avionics deck? And most importantly, what do scientists anticipate discovering in the detailed analysis of the largest asteroid sample ever brought back to Earth? Key Objectives of the OSIRIS-REx Mission The OSIRIS-REx mission, launched on the 8th of September 2016, had three primary goals. The first was sample collection aiming to obtain pristine samples from the asteroid surface, providing vital materials for scientists to study and comprehend the composition of primitive asteroids. The second objective was asteroid characterization, involving mapping Bennu's surface, ascertaining its composition, and determining its potential as a resource for future space exploration. The third goal was Earth's impact hazard assessment, the challenge presented by Bennu. As previously mentioned, Bennu is considered a potentially hazardous asteroid due to its close flyby of Earth, scheduled for the 25th of September, 2135. The influence of Earth's gravity on Bennu's trajectory presents a considerable challenge for precise calculations. In addition to gravity, non-gravitational forces, such as the Yarkovsky effect, can push asteroids off course. The Yarkovsky effect results from sunlight heating the day side of a rotating asteroid. As the asteroid rotates, the cooler night side releases heat, causing a small thrust that can change the asteroid's direction over time. Accurately modeling the Yarkovsky effect can significantly impact the prediction of an asteroid's path. Probable trajectories. The uncertainty surrounding the Yarkovsky effect's impact on Bennu's orbit necessitates considering various potential trajectories for the asteroid's approach to Earth in 2135. Some of these trajectories align with gravitational keyholes in space. Should Bennu pass through a keyhole, Earth's gravity could redirect its path in a way that leads to an impact in the late 22nd century. While the likelihood of this occurrence remains low, scientists strive to gather as much information as possible to understand and mitigate potential threats. Sample Collection Timeline The journey to Bennu was a two-year, four-month voyage. On the 3rd of December 2018, OSIRIS-REx reached its destination after traveling approximately 1.4 billion miles, entering orbit around the asteroid. The most exhilarating phase of the mission occurred on the 20th of October 2020, when the spacecraft used its touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism, TAGSAM, to collect the sample. TAGSAM, a robotic arm attached to the spacecraft's main body, delicately touched the asteroid's surface to gather the sample. Considering Bennu's small size, the arm had to collect the sample in almost zero gravity. With just one opportunity for success and no margin for error, OSIRIS-REx remarkably collected 300 grams of the sample during the brief nine-second contact with Bennu, surpassing NASA's expectations five-fold. The Return Journey Following sample collection, an issue emerged. The material began to escape due to a jammed flap caused by larger rocks. To prevent further loss, NASA decided to forgo the scheduled measurement of the sample and sealed it for return. OSIRIS-REx left Bennu on the 10th of May, 2021, embarking on its journey back to Earth. Nearly two and a half years later, on the 24th of September, 2023, the spacecraft reached Earth's vicinity 
and released the capsule containing the asteroid sample. The capsule entered Earth's atmosphere at a speed of 12 kilometers per second and deployed a parachute to ensure a safe descent, ultimately landing at the Utah Test and Training Range, where NASA personnel recovered it. The Astonishing Discovery A few days later, scientists at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston unveiled the lid on the sample return canister from the OSIRIS-REx mission. Their astonishment grew as they gazed upon the first sight, a layer of dark powder and sand-sized particles on the avionics deck of the sample canister, presumably originating from Bennu. This fine dust not only coated the canister's interior, but also extended to its exterior, including the avionics deck housing electronics. The question that remains is how this dust managed to escape from such a tightly sealed container. According to NASA, upon touchdown on Bennu, OSIRIS-REx's brief contact generated a shockwave that spread across the asteroid surface, expelling certain materials into space. Some of this material trailed behind OSIRIS-REx as it departed Bennu and adhered to the spacecraft's outer surfaces. Additionally, some entered the sample canister through the open flap, mingling with the material collected by TAGSAM. The combined mass of the sample, including the dust and debris, now measures approximately 400 grams, exceeding the requirements for scientific goals. It's also reported that the sample remains in excellent condition, having experienced minimal exposure to high temperatures or contamination during its return journey. Challenges in Sample Handling The presence of dust and debris on the avionics deck presents a unique challenge. It demands careful handling and cleaning by specialized tools and techniques to remove the particles without damaging the electronics or losing any of the material. Furthermore, scientists must meticulously document and catalog each fragment of dust and debris as integral components of the sample inventory. This sample return mission is historic in its significance. The investment in asteroid exploration. The question arises, why are space agencies investing billions of dollars in exploring space rocks that are scarcely half a mile wide? Besides the quest for scientific knowledge and the potential for finding life-sustaining environments, asteroids hold a unique allure because they are cosmic time capsules. These celestial bodies formed in the early solar system preserving materials that are otherwise altered by geological processes on planets. Asteroids contain the same raw materials that comprise planets, making them invaluable in unveiling the secrets of the early solar system. Notably, scientists have uncovered various organic molecules on asteroids, which are believed to be the building blocks of life. The presence of these molecules on asteroids suggests that the ingredients for life existed in the early solar system, the significance of Ryugu. The discovery of organic molecules on asteroid Ryugu is particularly exciting. Ryugu is a carbonaceous asteroid, rich in organic material. In 2020, the Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa, two returned samples from Ryugu to Earth, and subsequent analysis unveiled a plethora of organic molecules including amino acids, the building blocks of proteins essential for life. This finding opens the door to the possibility that life's ingredients may have been delivered to Earth via asteroids in its early history. The next phase, OSIRIS APEX. The next phase of the OSIRIS-REx mission, now named OSIRIS APEX, will center on the study of asteroid Apophis. Apophis, a near-Earth asteroid approximately 1,100 feet in diameter, is set to make a close approach to Earth in 2029, with an estimated 1 in 150,000 chance of impacting Earth in 2068. OSIRIS Apex is scheduled to reach Apophis in April 2029, shortly after its close encounter with Earth. Over 18 months, the spacecraft will conduct in-depth observations of Apophis from orbit, including imaging, mapping, compositional analysis, and size and shape measurements. The OSIRIS APEX mission represents a critical step in our understanding of near-Earth objects and the potential threat they pose to our planet. The data collected will enhance our ability to protect Earth from potential asteroid impacts. This remarkable discovery within the largest asteroid sample ever collected is a testament to the dedication and precision of NASA's missions. These ventures provide us with invaluable insights into the history of our solar system and the potential for life beyond Earth. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the cosmos, 
we invite you to share your thoughts on this extraordinary revelation. Do you think this revelation will bear new hope or nothing at all? Subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated on the latest discoveries. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey of exploration. See you next time.